Good morning all and welcome to the first episode of Coffee with Kid Fitness. And this morning, discussion we're going to be discussing, quickly looking at the excuse of no time. Each one of us has 24 hours per day, which works out to 168 hours per week. Massive amount of time. Now, if we sleep a maximum of 8 hours per week, that gives us 56 hours sleeping time. Now, most of us work, say, full time. That's another 48 hours per week of sleep, of working. Now, between that, we have our time on Facebook, checking our Facebook page, eating, traveling, showering, getting dressed, spending time with the family throughout the week. That adds up to about roughly 42 hours per week. If we chunk that down even more, we still have a remaining 30 hours per week. If we take even one day off, that gives, leave us with five hours per week, uh, per day rather, to still work out, plan our meals, and time to hit the gym. So when you look at it from the aspect, we do have a lot, we do have a lot of time to do work on our health and fitness on a weekly basis. Even if just 30 minutes per day, we even chop that down even further, we can do 30 minutes, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening, after they put the kids to bed or when they get home from work. So there is enough time in the day for each one of us to do, do something about our health and fitness, especially in the new year, with the new year resolution in full swing. Um, I hope you find a brief and quick video informative about the excuse of no time. We do have time. We just need to apply it, uh, manage it properly. Um, thank you again for checking in this morning and looking at uh, our first episode with Coffee with Kid Fitness. Have a great day here, everyone. Bye.